About 10 years ago, the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library Foundation spent more than $25 million on a new Lincoln collection. The centerpiece? A stovepipe hat believed to be owned by the president. Yeah, but an internal investigation conducted by the state historian earlier this year found it may not be the case. WCI 3's Cole Hankey is in our Capitol Newsroom. Cole, why did the museum run the tests? The, auth the authenticity of the hat has been subject to scrutiny for years now. And finally, the museum just decided to take matters into their own hands. Former executive director Alan Lowe had the state historian try to authenticate the hat. In an email to the deputy governor in June, though, the now former executive director said the historian found no evidence that the hat belonged to Lincoln. The entire collection, including the hat, was purchased with private foundation funding. And state representative Tim Butler sat in on multiple hearings regarding what to do with the hat last year and said that he hopes the museum and the foundation use this as a learning experience. Uh, I wouldn't give up hope on it, but certainly as it looks today, uh, they can't prove that it was Abraham Lincoln's hat. I guess you can't disprove it wasn't either, so that's kind of the question. But uh, my hope is moving forward that uh, you see a lot better collaboration between the foundation and, and the museum, to the state side. And The foundation is still paying off the loan they took out to pay for the entire collection back in 2007. Earlier this week, Governor Pritzker appointed several members to a new board meant to increase collaboration between the state-run museum and the private foundation. Now, this may not be the end of the saga with this hat, though. The museum is still holding out hope that they may be able to draw connections between the hat and Lincoln. Further tests can still be conducted on the hat, and the museum is really, and Butler, are both really hoping for the best with that. Paul? I guess there's still hope. Cole, thanks. Well, the foundation purchased the collection in 2007. The hat was initially valued at $6.5 million.